Hey everyone, it's Miss O'Neill here and we are getting ready for our math lesson. So today we're on chapter 12, lesson number seven. And lesson number seven is all about problem solving. We're gonna talk about how to use a table to help us solve some word problems, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. You can work with me in your own practice book. This page is right from the practice workbook page. Let's try to move things around a little bit so it's not super wobbly. Okay, here we go. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna take a look at this table and see what it says. The title of this table says School Fair Food Sales. So just taking a look and reading the title, I can tell that whatever is in this table, it's gonna tell me all about the food sales from the school fair. And it looks like we have two different categories here. We have foods and we have number sold. So I know everything in this column is going to be a food and everything over here is going to be how much of that food was sold. So we can see here hot dogs, they sold 35 of them. 67 veggie burgers were sold. 19 rice and beans were sold and 48 salads were sold. If you were at the school fair, what would you pick? Oh, I can't tell, they all look so good to me. I don't have an answer for that. It's okay if you don't either. Let's go ahead and read the first problem together. Problem number one says, the food booth sells food at the school fair. How many more hot dogs were sold than plates of rice and beans. And there's a nice little helpful hint here. Think, do you have to add or subtract? Let's take a look at some of the words in this problem again. How many more? And the word than over here should be setting off some alarms in your head. That tells me that we need to subtract here, okay? This is telling me that more hot dogs were sold than rice and beans. We have to find the difference. We have to find the answer to our subtraction problem here. So let's go ahead and figure out how many hot dogs were sold. Take a look at this chart, at this table. Tell me how many hot dogs were sold. Nice, wonderful, there were 35 hot dogs. How many plates of rice and beans were sold? Wonderful, taking a look at the table, I can tell that 19 plates of rice and, rice and, rice and beans were sold. I'll just call it R and B. So what this problem wants me to do is subtract those two numbers from each other. Why are you so wobbly? Cool, subtract those two numbers from each other. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and set this up as a subtraction problem. I'm gonna switch colors to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so I know that my bigger number here is 35. Five minus nine, taking a look at the ones column. Can I take away nine from five? Nope, absolutely cannot. So I'm gonna have to take a 10 from here and put it over here. So now I have 15 minus nine. 15 minus nine is what? 15 minus nine is six and now I have two minus one. Two, take away one, is one. So now I have my answer here of 16 more hot dogs were sold than plates of rice and beans. And would you look at that? Our answer over here is helping us out. 16 more hot dogs. I'm gonna go ahead and trace over that. Wonderful. Let's do the next one together. 
This next problem says, let's just switch colors for the fun of it. Let's do purple. How many rice and beans and salads were sold in all? Hmm. How many rice and beans and salads were sold in all? In all should be setting off a little bit of an alarm in your head. If I'm looking for something, oh, J care. If I'm looking for something together in all, does that mean that I am going to subtract or does that mean that I'm going to add? Yeah, wonderful. I'm going to add these two together. So I need to figure out rice and beans, the number sold up here, and then I need to figure out how many salads were sold up here and add those two numbers together. So how many plates of rice and beans were sold again? Wonderful, 19. And how many salads were sold? Nice, 48. So because I'm going to add and not subtract, it doesn't matter that the bigger number is on the bottom, okay? Because I'm putting them both together. If I was trying to take one away from the other, then I would have the problem. But with addition, totally fine. All right, step number one, you gotta add those ones. What is nine plus eight? Wonderful, 17. So I'm putting my seven here because I do need to regroup. I need to bring that one all the way up here. So now I have one plus one plus four. So wobbly, oh my gosh. Let me see if I can fix this real quick. Let's see if maybe that helps. Doubt it, but we can try. All right, one plus one plus four. Four plus one equals five, nice. And five plus one equals Nice, six. So I have 67 in all. I added together the rice and bean plates and the number of salads that were sold. I'm gonna write 67 in all over here. Remember the in all and the more hot dogs, those are super important things to have at the end of your sentence for a word problem. Because if I came up to you and I said, hey, how many more, or how many rice and beans and salads were sold in all? And you just said, ah, uh, 67. I mean, you could, but that wouldn't really give me all the information that I need. Maybe it was just 67 salads or 67 plates of rice and beans. You should add the in all at the end to make it clear to your reader what's going on. Let's do one more problem together. And this last question over here says, how many more veggie burgers were sold than salads? Ooh. These words should be setting off some alarms in your head. Maybe. Take a look back at number one. Are we going to be adding or subtracting here? Adding or subtracting. Wonderful. You got it. We are subtracting here. So, I have veggie burgers and I have salads. Take a look at my table, 67 veggie burgers and 48 salads. Which number is bigger, 67 or 48? Nice, 67. So 67 is going to be my first number up here. 67. And salads we said was 40. We said subtraction because how many more than gives us big alarms, big clues that we need to be doing some subtraction. Wonderful. Cool beans. So we know 67 is our bigger number. Now we got to subtract the ones. 7 minus 8. Can I take away 8 from 7? Nope. I'm going to have to cross that out because I'm going to put a new number here. I'm taking away 110 from the side, so 6 minus 1 equals 5. And now over here I'm adding a 10, so 7 is not 7 anymore, it is 17. What is 17 minus 8? 
A little tricky. Yeah, you got it. 17 minus 8 equals 9. You see that all the way down there? 9. Wonderful. And 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4 equals... Nice, wonderful. 5 minus 4 equals 1. So how many more veggie burgers were sold than salads? 19 more veggie burgers. Let me go ahead and put that over here. 19. Awesome. So we did those three problems together. I'm going to have you work on your own on the last problem here, the test prep problem. It says, at the fair, 16 children buy juice, 45 children buy milk. How many more children buy milk than juice? You can go ahead and do some work over here if you want to, or you can go ahead and get a scrap piece of paper to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm taking a look at the words here. How many more than? How many more than? And how many more than? I think you're going to be subtracting down here if I'm not mistaken. Awesome. Great work. Make sure that your grown up at home takes a picture of this page in your workbook when you're done. Um, I'll also take a picture of yesterday's workbook page when you're done too and send it to me so I can see what a beautiful job you did here. Awesome. Love you a lot. Miss you a bunch and I will see you later. Bye.